Hello, welcome back everyone. In this video, I am going to discuss the phylum Echinodermata. The, uh, before starting with the actual points, let us know the meaning of what, what is Echinodermata. Here, Echinos means spiny, Derma means skin. Okay, And here are the some points which I am going to discuss. Let us start with uh, one by one. Here is the first one. They are exclusively marine organisms. Okay, And they are triploblastic, eucilomate and unsegmented. Means they possess Triploblastic means they possess three body layers uh, that is uh, first one is ectoderm, endoderm and mesoderm and they are eucilomate means they have the uh, body cavity, uh, they have true body cavity, u means true, okay, they, uh, that's why they are eucilomates or you can simply just call it as silomates and their uh, body is unsegmented, they don't have any segments on the body, they are, are unsegmented and one more point which I would like to add is they are all bilaterally bilaterally symmetrical means the body can be cut into identical left and right arms by only one plane that is called as bilaterally symmetrical and in case of uh, starfish which possess the pentameral symmetry okay which uh, that is the exam point you have to remember then let us move on to the next point they have pincer like outgrowth all over the body that is called as pedicillaria uh, this pedicillaria will help in uh, for cleaning purpose okay and here they don't have uh, head means head is absent and the body is distinguished into oral and arboral surface see uh, let us know what is oral and arboral surface uh, you can see this diagram here which I have drawn this is the diagram of asteraceous uh, uh, that is starfish uh, and this uh, is the arboral surface and this is the oral surface oral surface means the side which have the mouth mouth Okay, or it is also called as um, ventral view or lower end and coming to the arboral surface where you can see the anus that uh, side you can uh, call it as arboral surface uh, which is the upper surface okay uh, that uh, actually forms the arboral surface okay and uh, let us move on to the next point coming to the digestive system digestive system is complete here and which is very simple complete means they have one uh, open for the mouth and another open for the anus that actually forms the complete digestive system and uh, next one is nervous system here nerve ring and radial nerves and sense organs are poorly developed and that means uh, there is no brain means uh, in the last point I said they, they don't have head right so they don't have brain also and uh, let us move on to the next one excretory system excretory organs are absent in case of echinoderms and there is no excretory, excretory system and coming to the respiratory system uh, so you can have a guess here because they I said they are exclusively marine if they are marine organisms that means that uh, the respiration uh, is obviously through the derma skills or they have two few two feet or uh, cloacal respiratory trees for the respiration let us uh, move on to the few more points which are very important so here is the one uh, one more point which i would like to add here is echinoderms possess a unique um, umbilical uh, or uh, water uh, water vascular system so uh, they consist of a central uh, ring canal and radial uh, canals that extends along each arm and uh, water circulate through these structures and facilitate gaseous exchange as well as uh, nutrition predation and locomotion so let me explain this here with the diagram this is the diagram of starfish you can see this this is the um, uh, 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 this part is called as uh, central ring canal and this is called as the uh, radial uh, canal okay and this part is called as medroparite medroparite means uh, they have water vascular system in which sea water enters through a porous plate called as medroparite. Here uh, with this porous plate, uh, sea water will enter into the body that is called as medroparite. After the water enters into the medroparite, the, uh, that uh, water will circulate through the ring canal and through the other parts through the radial canal. So by this uh, movement, um, they can... Uh, uh, facilitate the uh, uh, exchange of gases, nutrition, predation and which are also helpful for the locomotion. Okay, And uh, let us move on to the next point. They have two feet or podia for locomotion and uh, here is the uh, another important term. 
they have power of autotomy and regeneration. So, uh, how uh, explain the regeneration in the uh, while explaining the phylum uh, um, Porifera? Okay. So, uh, let us uh, uh, know. Uh, let us know the uh, meaning of regeneration here. Regeneration means the body, the uh, the lost body part again it will uh, regrow. That is called as regeneration. And one more term is autotomy. Autotomy means simply it means self detaching. I am saying self detaching. So for example, make you to understand here is the starfish. See if it is accidentally lost this arm, it may accidentally lost this arm or if it is attacked by the predator which is uh, seized uh, this arm by the predator this uh, star what it will do this will what uh, it will self discards or sheds of this arm okay that process is called as autotomy okay and this <coughs> last part will helps in um, uh, complete regeneration of the organism or it may lose separately that actually forms the uh, means uh, the self detaching leads to regeneration in some uh, organisms okay let us move on to the few more terms uh, here coming to the reproduction sexes are uh, separate um, and uh, fertilization is external and development is indirect indirect development means they have the larva stage in their life history means eggs develops into larva and finally we are at the classification here uh, they have uh, five classes and the first one is asteridae uh, example for this is uh, starfish and second one is opioidae Example for this opiotrix, uh, the common name is brittle star and one more example is opiocoma. Then third class is echinoidea, example for this is C. archin. And fourth classification is holotheroidea, example for this is cucumiria and common name for this is C. cucumba. And uh, the final uh, fifth one uh, that is uh, crinoidea, example for this is antidon, uh, the common for name for this is C. lily. And uh, if you learn something new, please do subscribe to my channel and if you like this video please do uh, uh, hit a like button and uh, thank you everyone.